Suwanapum Airport Thai, de Zakazyan Surinfumi RTGS, Suwanapum, pronounced Su, Wan, Na, PM Listen IATA, BKK, ICAO, VTBS, also known and officially as Bangkok Airport, is one of two international airports serving Bangkok, Thailand. The other is Don Muang International Airport. Suwanapum covers an area of 3,240 hectares 8,000 acres, making it one of the biggest international airports in Southeast Asia and a regional hub for aviation. Suwanapum was officially opened for limited domestic flight service on 15 September 2006, and opened for most domestic and all international commercial flights on 28 September 2006. The airport is currently the main hub for Thai Airways International, Thai Smile Airways, and Bangkok Airways. It also serves as regional gateway and connecting point for various foreign carriers. The airport is on what had formerly been known as Nong Nagahau Cobra Swamp in Racha Dawa in Bang Phli, Samut Prakan, about 25 kilometers 16 miles east of downtown Bangkok. The terminal building was designed by Helmut Jan of Murphy, Jan Architects. It was constructed primarily by Ito JV. The airport had the world's tallest freestanding control tower, 132.2 meters or 434 feet from 2006 to 2014, and the world's fourth largest single building airport terminal, 563,000 square meters or 6,060,000 square feet. Suwanapum is the 21st busiest airport in the world, 9th busiest airport in Asia, and the busiest in the country, having handled 53 million passengers in 2012, and is also a major air cargo hub, with a total of 95 airlines. On social networks, Suwanapum was the world's most popular site for taking Instagram photographs in 2012. The airport inherited the airport code, BKK, from Don Muang after the previous airport ceased international commercial flights. The modern motorway 7 connects the airport, Bangkok, and the heavily industrial eastern seaboard of Thailand, where most export manufacturing takes place. Etymology The name Suwanapum is Sanskrit for, land of gold, Devanagari, IAST, Suwanapum, Suvarna is, gold, Bhumi is, land. Literally, Golden Land. The name was chosen by the late King Bhumibal Adulyade, which the name Bhumi was being part of the monarch's profile and is it named after him and refers to the Hindu Buddhist Golden Kingdom, theorized to have been located to the east of the Ganges, possibly somewhere in Southeast Asia. In Thailand, government proclamations and national museums insist that Suwanapum was somewhere in the coast of Central Plain, near the ancient city of U Thong, which might be the origin of the Indianized Dvaravati culture. Although the claims have not been substantiated by any historical records, the Thai government named the new Bangkok Airport Suwanapum Airport, in celebration of this tradition. History Land purchase, early construction The need for the new airport was recognized in 1973 when 8,000 acres of land was purchased 40 kilometers east of Bangkok. The site, known as Cobra Swamp, was drained and named Suwanapum, meaning, Realm of Gold. On 14 October 1973, student-led protests led to the overthrow of the military government of Prime Minister Thanam Kitakachorn and the project was shelved. After a series of ups and downs, the New Bangkok International Airport Company NBIA was formed in 1996. Due to political and economic instabilities, notably the Asian financial crisis of 1997, construction did not begin until six years later in January 2002 by the government of Thaksin Shinawat. <laughs> Early construction, airport tests, and official opening The airport was due to open in late 2005, but a series of budget overruns, construction flaws, and allegations of corruption plagued the project. A further delay was caused by the discovery that the airport had been built over an old graveyard. Superstitious construction workers claimed to have seen ghosts there. 
On 23 September 2005, the Thai Airports Authority held a ceremony where 99 Buddhist monks chanted to appease the spirits. Full tests of the airport took place on 3 and 29 July 2006. Six airlines Thai Airways International, Nok Air, Thai Air Asia, Bangkok Airways, P Bear, and 1 2 Go used the airport as a base for 20 domestic flights. The first international test flights were conducted on 1 September 2006. Two Thai Airways aircraft, a Boeing 747-400 and an Airbus A300-600, simultaneously departed the airport at 9.19 to Singapore and Hong Kong. At 15.50 the same aircraft flew back and made simultaneous touchdowns on runways 19L and 19R. These test flights demonstrated the readiness of the airport to handle traffic. On the 15th of September 2006, the airport started limited daily operations with Jetstar Asia Airways operating three Singapore to Bangkok flights. Bangkok Airways moved to the airport on the 21st of September. AirAsia and Thai AirAsia followed on the 25th of September and on the 26th of September Nok Air moved to Suwanapum Airport. During this initial phase, as well as in the previous tests, the airport used the temporary IATA code NBK. Suwanapum officially opened at 3 o'clock on 28 September 2006, taking over all flights from Don Muang. The first flight to arrive was a Lufthansa cargo flight LH8442 from Mumbai at 3.05. The first commercial arrival was Japan Airlines at 3.30. The first passenger arrival was Aerosvit Flight VV-171 from Kiev at 4.30, and the first cargo departure was Saudi Arabian Airlines Flight SV-984 to Riyadh at 5 o'clock. Aerosvit also had the first passenger departure VV-172 to Kiev around 5.30. <laughs> Initial difficulties Difficulties were reported in the first few days of the airport's operation. On the first day alone, sluggish luggage handling was common. The first passenger arrival by Aerosvit took an hour for the luggage to start coming out, and some flights did not have their luggage coming out even after four hours. Flights were delayed. Thai Airways claimed that 17 of 19 flights were delayed that day, and there were failures with the check-in system. Subsequent problems included the failure of the cargo computer system, and the departure boards displaying the wrong information, resulting in confused passengers especially as unlike Don Muang, there were no final calls issued. Months after its opening, issues of congestion, construction quality, signage, provision of facilities, and soil subsidence continued to plague the project, prompting calls to reopen Don Muang to allow for repairs to be made. Expert opinions varied widely on the extent of Suwanapum's problems as well as their root cause. Most airlines stated that damage to the airport was minimal. Then Prime Minister Surayud Chulanant reopened Don Muang for domestic flights on a voluntary basis on 16 February 2007, with 71 weekly flights moved back initially, but no international flights. Capacity and safety issues Tarmac problems In January 2007, ruts were discovered in the runways at Suwanapum. The east runway was scheduled to close for repairs. Expert opinions varied as to the cause of the ruts. Airport authorities and airline representatives maintained that the airport was still safe and resisted suggestions that the airport should be completely closed and all flights moved back to Don Muang. On 27 January 2007, the Department of Civil Aviation declined to renew the airport safety certificate, which had expired the previous day. The ICAO requires that international airports hold aerodrome safety certificates, but Suwanapum continued to operate because the ICAO requirement had yet to be adopted as part of Thai law. As of early 2016, tarmac problems persisted at Suwanapum. Soft spots on the tarmac, taxiways, and apron area had not been permanently fixed. Aircraft were getting stuck on the soft surfaces that are the result of substandard materials. The constant resurfacing of the tarmac, taxiways and apron area with asphalt is an unacceptable patchwork solution. We literally need a concrete solution, said Tony Tyler, IATA's Director General and CEO. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Plans to reopen Don Muang for domestic flights. In January 2007, Thai Airways announced a plan to move some of its domestic operations back to Don Muang International Airport due to overcrowding. Three days later, the Ministry of Transport recommended temporarily reopening Don Muang while repair work on the runways at Suwanapum proceeded. At that time, Thai Airways said it would shift most of its domestic flights back to Don Muang while keeping flights with high international passenger connections such as Chiang Mai and Phuket at Suwanapum. On 28 March 2009, Thai Airways discontinued all domestic flights from Don Muang. Bangkok Airways and 1-2-Go had similar plans, but Bangkok Airways remained at Suwanapum. Thai AirAsia said it would not move unless it could shift both its international and domestic operations, prompting them to stay at Suwanapum for the time being. Nok Air and P Bear were undecided, but Nok Air later relocated all flights to Don Muang, where they operate today. As of January 2010, only Nok Air and 1-2-Go operated domestic flights from Don Muang Airport, P Bear have ceased operations altogether. 1-2-Go was integrated into Orient Thai Airlines in July 2010, but continues to operate from Don Muang Airport. As of 1 October 2012 Air Asia has moved all of its Bangkok operations to Don Muang International Airport DMK from Suwanapum Airport BKK. Topic. Repair and upgrades Airports of Thailand found that the cost of fixing 60 identified problems at the airport would be less than 1% of the total airline cost and the problems could be fixed in up to 4 to 5 years. Dr. Narapal Chayat, a member of a committee overseeing service problems at the new airport, estimated that 70% of the problems would be fixed in 2007. 20 of the 60 problems were successfully fixed by February 2007. Topic: Features. Suwanapum Airport's main terminal roof is designed with structural elements and bays placed in a cantilevered wave-like form to appear to float over the concourse beneath. This overall design principle was to express the former essence of the site, from which water had to be drained before construction could begin. The eight composite 2,710-ton trusses supporting the canopy of the main terminal are essentially diagrams of the bending moments acting on them, with the greatest depth at mid-span and over the supports. The result of Helmut Jan's vision is a structure with performance materials serve in their total composition and in use more than in their conventional roles. This maximizes daylight use in comfort with substantial energy life cycle cost savings. The installed cooling system reduced up to 50% compared to a conventional system. A translucent membrane with three layers was developed to mediate between the interior and exterior climate, dealing with noise and temperature transmission, while still allowing natural flow of daylight into building. Topic: Airport ranking The airport was ranked number 36 among the world's top 100 airports in 2018. Other ASEAN airports in 2018 were ranked, Singapore Chani Airport, 1, Kuala Lumpur International Airport, 44, Jakarta, 45, Hanoi, 82. Suwanapum was ranked 38 in 2017 and 36 in 2016. According to the Thailand Development Research Institute in 2018, the airport's ranking had not improved over the past six years. Customer complaints include, lengthy immigration waiting times, transit day room issues, insufficient numbers of chairs and phone charging points, insufficient English-speaking staff, and poor information displays. Events. <laughs> <laughs> On 25 January 2007, due to work upgrading the taxiways which suffered from small cracks, a few incoming flights were delayed and several flights were safely diverted to Yu Tapau International Airport in Rayong Province. On 26 November 2008, an illegal occupation of the airport took place by People's Alliance for Democracy, closing the departure lounge and blocking exits and leaving almost 3,000 passengers stranded in the main terminal and another 350,000 stranded inside the country as all flights were grounded. 
The People's Alliance for Democracy seized the control tower at 12 o'clock. On 2 December 2008, protesters agreed to leave the airport as they had been illegally protesting and permitted the resumption of flights. Security checks, cleanups, and recertification once the illegal occupation ended delayed the airport from being fully functional until 5 December 2008. Predatory irregularities Petty thieves and confidence men, the majority of them illegal taxi drivers or tour guides, are known to prey on tourists in the arrival hall. They belong to politically well-connected criminal groups, Komnen Samurai, Boonruang Srisong, Sak Pakfanang, the Pattaya Mafia and Fuyi Dang. Evicting them has proved difficult as they allegedly are well connected. The head of the Parap gang is supposedly related to an airports of Thailand executive, while the Fuyi Dang has ties to influential civil servants in Samut Prakan. On 1 October 2010, 200 armed men occupied the airport's parking area for an hour, blocking the building's entrances and seizing ticket booths to collect fares from motorists. Airport security personnel failed to respond, reportedly because of an internal dispute within the parking management company, the firm contracted to run the parking facilities. Specifications Costing an estimated 155 billion baht $5 billion, the airport has two parallel runways 60 meters wide, 4,000 meters and 3,700 meters long and two parallel taxiways to accommodate simultaneous departures and arrivals. It has a total of 120 parking bays 51 with contact gates and 69 remote gates, with five of these capable of accommodating the Airbus A380. The main passenger terminal building, with a capacity of handling 76 flight operations per hour, co-locates the international and domestic terminals, though assigning them to different parts of the concourse. In the initial phase of construction, it was capable of handling 45 million passengers and 3 million tons of cargo per year. Above the underground rail link station and in front of the passenger terminal building is a 600-room hotel operated by a core group under the Novotel brand. The airport's passenger terminal is the world's largest passenger terminal ever constructed in one phase at 563,000 square meters, 6,060,000 square feet, and is also currently the fourth biggest passenger terminal building in the world after the Hong Kong International Airport, 570,000 square meters or 6,100,000 square feet, Beijing Capital International Airport, 990,000 square meters or 10,700,000 square feet, with the largest pass passenger terminal at Dubai International Airport Terminal 3 is over 1,713,000 square meters or 18,440,000 square feet. The airport air traffic control tower was the tallest in the world at 135 meters 443 feet from 2006 to 2014. Suwanapum Airport has 72 jet bridges and 69 non-jet bridges. Additionally, flights are able to park at remote locations on the ramp, from which airport buses transport passengers to and from the terminal. Suwanapum Airport has 18 jet bridges and 6 non-jet bridges for Airbus 380-800. From the opening of Suwanapum in 2006 to early 2017, eight people had fallen to their deaths from upper floor walkways, prompting the airport to spend 33 million baht in 2013 building glass barriers to stop people falling or taking their lives. Topic. Expansion By mid-2015, the airport was handling more than 800 flights per day, higher than its 600 flight capacity. It has exceeded its capacity of 45 million passengers per year. Airports of Thailand AOT approved an investment budget for the expansion of Suwanapum Airport and expected construction to begin in 2019 and finish in 2021 or early 2022. The plan was to strengthen Suwanapum Airport's position as a regional aviation hub. Phase 2 would raise the airport's capacity to 65 million passengers a year and would be undertaken in parallel with the construction of a new domestic terminal. 
The new domestic terminal will be intended to accommodate more than 30 million passengers annually. The two expansion projects are part of the overall airport enlargement that would see Suwanapum raise its annual passenger handling capacity to 125 million passengers, 90 million international, and 35 million domestic passengers by 2024 at an estimated cost of 163 billion baht, 5.25 billion dollars per 3.62 billion euros. The expansion includes the construction of one additional runway, subsequent enlargement of domestic and international terminals, and improvements to parking bays, car parks, and other airport infrastructure, an expansion plan to increase the passenger capacity of the airport to 65 million by building an additional satellite passenger terminal linked to the current main terminal via an underground automated people mover APM system was set to be voted on by the AOT board during a 17 May 2012 meeting. If the plan gains endorsement by the board it will be able to proceed to appointing a project management consultant PMC which will bring it one step closer to commencing construction on the much needed expansion. If all goes to plan the expansion is set to be completed in 2018. The expansion also includes a plan to expand the airport parking garage as well as the expansion of the eastern end of the main passenger terminal by 135 meters along with the construction of a new airline office building. The expansion does include plans to construct a third runway of 3,700 meters. According to the Bangkok Post, the new satellite terminal will have a total of 28 gates, with 8 for the Airbus A380 Super Jumbo Jet. The new passenger terminal will be used only by Bangkok Airways and flag carrier Thai Airways and its budget subsidiary Thai Smile. Upon completion of the satellite terminal, other Star Alliance members will be given the check in concourse of Thai Airways. Topic. Airlines and destinations Topic. Passenger Topic. Cargo Topic. Traffic and statistics Topic. Busiest international routes Topic. Traffic by calendar year Suwanapum accounted for the largest share of air traffic at Thailand's airports in 2015, handling 52.9 million passengers, up by nearly 14% from the previous year despite its passenger capacity of only 45 million a year. International passengers passing through Suwanapum grew 15.9% to 44.2 million, while domestic volume edged up 4.87% to 8.68 million. Aircraft movements showed a 9.5% increase to 317,066, consisting of 247,584 international up 11% and 69,482 domestic up 4.4%. Topic. Ground transportation Topic. Airport rail link The 30 billion baht Suwanapum Airport link was opened on 23 August 2010, after multiple delays. The airport rail link ARL is operated by SRTET, a subsidiary company of the State Railway of Thailand. The standard gauge line is 28.6 kilometers, 17.8 miles long and is elevated for most of its length, running mostly above existing regional railway lines and parallel to motorway 7 and C Rat Expressway. There is a short at grade underground segment as the line approaches the passenger terminal building of Suwanapum Airport. The ARL hours of service are 6 o'clock to 2400. The ARL has two interchange stations, namely Phaya Thai changing for BTS Green Line services and Makassan linking Fetchaburi station of the MRT Blue Line. In the future, the ARL will complement the SRT Red Line commuter service, which comprises two-meter gauge, dual-track lines. 
The ARL may also be extended from Phya Thai to Don Muang via Bang Su, given that the old Don Muang International Airport has now been reopened for civil aviation under a dual airport policy. Regional train Meanwhile, SRT provides a suburban commuter train service between Lad Crabbing the nearest station to Suwanapum on the East Line, one station from the airport by Airport Rail Link and the northern suburban city of Rangsit via downtown Bangkok and the old Don Muang Airport. The train also connects with BTS and MRT at Phya Thai and Phetchaburi stations respectively. A shuttle bus service linking the airport with Wa Tok Railway Station is provided by BMTA. The train service is currently not as popular as the bus service because it requires a shuttle bus connection. The service will be stopped when the airport express link is completed. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Bus. A free bus service connecting Suwanapum Airport and Don Muang Airport operates from 5 o'clock until midnight. Three air-conditioned city bus routes are operated by Bangkok Mass Transit Authority BMTA serve the airport's dedicated bus terminal. There are also direct buses between the airports operated by Airport Shuttle Bus. <laughs> Car The airport has five main access routes. Among these the most convenient route is via the Bangkok Chon Buri Motorway, motorway 7. Another main airport entrance is in Samut Prakan Province via the expressway from Bang Na to Bang Pakong. The airport has provided five entrance routes. The main route is via the motorway in the north of Bangkok, directly connecting Bangkok's downtown and Chon Buri Province, the industrial and harbour city in eastern Thailand. However, another main airport entrance is in Samut Prakan Province, connecting an elevated highway in the south of Bangkok from Bang Na to Bang Pakong. Topic Sky Lane In December 2015, airports of Thailand introduced Sky Lane Thai, Sky Wai Len the cycling track around Suwanapum Airport perimeter. The cyclists can bring their bicycles and bike here for free. The entrance to Sky Lane is located in the northeastern corner of the airport area. The Sky Lane is controlled access one direction two lane track built only for cycling. The riders can be ensured that they won't be bothered by any vehicle. The Sky Lane's length is 23.5 kilometers, making it the longest in Asia. Sky Lane's facilities which are specially designed for cyclists include medical, shops, food and beverage, track parking lot and a rest area. The entrance gate is open from 6 o'clock to 1800. 